The chimera was, according to Greek mythology, a monstrous fire-breathing hybrid creature of Lycia in Asia Minor, composed of the parts of three animals a euro a lion, a snake and a goat. Usually depicted as a lion, with the head of a goat arising from its back, and a tail that ended in a snake's head, the chimera was one of the offspring of Typhon and Echidna and a sibling of such monsters as Cerberus and the Lernaean Hydra. The term chimera has come to describe any mythical or fictional animal with parts taken from various animals, or to describe anything composed of very disparate parts, or perceived as wildly imaginative or implausible. Description Homer's brief description in the Iliad is the earliest surviving literary reference, a thing of a mortal make, not human, lion fronted and snake behind, a goat in the middle, and snorting out the breath of the terrible flame of bright fire. Elsewhere in the Iliad, Homer attributes the rearing of Chimera to Amazodorus. He zides the Ogony follows the Homeric description, he makes the Chimera the issue of Echidna, she was the mother of Chimera who breathed raging fire, a creature fearful, great, swift-footed and strong, who had three heads, one of a grim-eyed lion, in her hinder part, a dragon, and in her middle, a goat, breathing forth a fearful blast of blazing fire. Her did Pegasus and noble Bella Rofen slay the author of the Bibliotheca concurs, descriptions agree that she breathed fire. The chimera is generally considered to have been female despite the mane adorning its lion's head, the inclusion of a close mane often was depicted on lionesses, but the ears always were visible. Citing the chimera was an omen of storms, shipwrecks, and natural disasters. While there are different genealogies, in one version the chimera mated with her brother Orthrus and mothered the sphinx and the Nemean lion. The chimera finally was defeated by Bellerophon, with the help of Pegasus, at the command of King Iobates of Lycia. Since Pegasus could fly, Bellerophon shot the chimera from the air, safe from her heads and breath. Aeschylus Homer adds that he finished her off by equipping his spear with a lump of lead that melted when exposed to the chimera's fiery breath and consequently killed her, an image drawn from metalworking. Robert Graves suggests, the chimera was, apparently, a calendar symbol of the tripartite year, of which the seasonal emblems were lion, goat, and serpent. The chimera was situated in foreign Lycia, but her representation in the arts was wholly Greek. An autonomous tradition, one that did not rely on the written word, was represented in the visual repertory of the Greek vase painters. The chimera first appears at an early stage in the Proto-Corinthian pottery painters' repertory, providing some of the earliest identifiable mythological scenes that can be recognized in Greek art. The Corinthian type is fixed, after some early hesitation, in the 670s BC. The variations in the pictorial representations suggest to Marilyn Lowe Schmidt a multiple origin. The fascination with the monstrous devolved by the end of the 7th century into a decorative chimera motif in Corinth, while the motif of Bellerophon on Pegasus took on a separate existence alone. A separate Attic tradition, where the goats breathe fire and the animals rear as serpent-like begins with such confidence that Marilyn Lowe Schmidt is convinced there must be unrecognized earlier local prototypes. Two vase painters employed the motif so consistently they are given the pseudonyms the Bellerophon painter and the Chimera painter. A fire-breathing lioness was one of the earliest of solar and war deities in ancient Egypt and influences are feasible. In Etruscan civilization, the Chimera appears in the orientalizing period that precedes Etruscan archaic art that is to say, very early indeed. The chimera appears in Etruscan wall paintings of the 4th century BC. In medieval art, though the chimera of antiquity was forgotten, chimerical figures appear as embodiments of the deceptive, even satanic forces of raw nature. Provided with a human face and a scaly tail, as in Dante's vision of Gerion in Inferno XVII 7 a Euro 17, 25 a Euro 27, hybrid monsters more akin to the manticore of Pliny's natural history, provided iconic representations of hypocrisy and fraud well into the 17th century, through an emblematic representation in Serepa's Iconologia. Classical sources, the myths of the Chimera can be found in Pseudo-Apollodorus Bibliotheca, Homer's Iliad. 
Hypnus Fabuli 57 and 151. Arvid's Metamorphoses. And he Theogony 319 ff. Virgil, in the Aeneid employs Chimera for the name of Gyar's gigantic ship in the ship race, with possible allegorical significance in contemporary Roman politics. Hypothesis about origin. Pliny the Elder cited Ctesias and quoted Photius identifying the Chimera with an area of permanent gas vents which still can be found today by hikers on the Lycian Way in southwest Turkey. Called in Turkish Yumarae, it consists of some two dozen vents in the ground, grouped in two patches on the hillside above the Temple of Hephaestus about 3 km north of Aa plus or minus Rala plus or minus, near ancient Olympos, in Lycia. The vents emit burning methane thought to be of metamorphic origin, which in ancient times were landmarks by which sailors could navigate. The Neo-Hittite Chimera from Karl Chemish, dated to 850 Euro 750 BC, which is now housed in the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations no doubt served as a basis for the Greek legend. It differs from the Greek version in that while there are three heads, none of them is that of a goat, only a main human head a lion's head facing forward and placed on the chest of the lion's body, and a snake's head placed at the end of the tail. Use for Chinese mythological creatures, some Western scholars of Chinese art, starting with Victor Sigalan, use the word chimera generically to refer to winged quadrupeds, such as Bixi, Tianlu, and even Klin. Popular culture. See also. Notes. References. Graves, Robert. 1960. The Greek Myths, Section 75b, pages 252 Euro 56, Corinii, Carl, 1959. The Heroes of the Greeks. Peck, Harry Thurston, 1898. Harper's Dictionary of Classical Antiquities, Chimera.